Hello, everybody. It's been, what, a month now? Because God continues to spit in my face with the internet. So, it's working! Hooray! Let's try to do this. Let's try to finish this, please. Hopefully. Damn, it's your line, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, certainly would prove to be difficult. Would be difficult to prove with this evidence. <laughs> if we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. Oh, we certainly can't get dead people to testify. <laughs> Oh, uh, not unless we have spooky ghosts at the stand! It's who? <laughs> Cause we just <laughs> have... <laughs> this has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning! I summon the necromancer to the stand! Touché, Miss Sky. Of course. That only uses us with one possibility. <gasps> You mean, there's still another possibility? Of course, summoning the dead. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? I mean, the possibility that the victim has left us a message. Oh! For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. In one manner or another. That's... That's impossible! Oh, well, Mr. Wright. This is the only possibility left to you. Okay, cool, thanks. A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? You know, I have a spirit medium friend, and you have allowed that in court before, right? You... No? no? Uh, okay, Jay, cool. we don't know how to contact Mia. <laughs> I've got to think back to the court record. Oh, yeah, I don't remember Maya. shit. It has been... Uh, it has been a month, quite literally, since we got the chance to record. <laughs> this. Because, I mean, we, we got to record and then it was like, oh, well, it's Halloween time for Resident Evil. The real murderer's name that the victim may have left behind... It's in the evidence. It's in the evidence! This message from the deceased is already in our possession. <sighs> Mr. Wright! Would you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer? Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. That reminds me, we have to check out the, uh, the anime. The whoopers are fucking great. <laughs> huh. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There's only one thing we seek. Justice! The truth. That too. No matter how painful it may be. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. Um, if I had to guess, it's gonna be that pot. <laughs> I should save. I can't save. Oh! Oh wait. Marshall's bloody handprint. No, wait. That's Jake Marshall. Uh. Ah! Found evidence for something, but what? Bears Emma Sky's prints. No, wait. That doesn't quite help. Again, I think it's the pot. You want? Do you want to try the pot? Because right. they. It looks like it definitely clearly looks like they were trying to draw something on there. All right, let's see how the music goes. This is the message. Told you. Yeah, left I by the deceased. I fucking told you, man. I swear. This is a uh, blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a mistake. Read it for me, please. Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. Ugh. You good? Yep. Mm, I should not have done that voice. That fucked me up. Holy shit. A message <laughs> was left here on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? <coughs> if, you look <coughs> if you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yet, there is a line here. Uh, yes, yeah, there's a the line blood. here, drawn in the blood. Oh, oops, sorry. So what you're saying is these dots were once lines. 
Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious- Oh god, do we have to draw, like, Daemon Jin's name and Kata? Yeah. Or, uh, or Kanji? I- I don't think so. Yes, I hope not. One that apparently- that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jaw where the lions change directions. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. Fuck. And the victim's message will become apparent! I mean, for the American version, he must have changed it. I, I hope so. N no! Mr. Wright? What kind of message did the victim leave for us? I'm going to need some finger paint! Watercolor, preferably! <laughs> Ew. The Phoenix, we will give you a marker. Your Honor, I believe the his blood stain. You know what? I'm gonna save. God damn. Yeah, it was literally last month. Fuck me. Let's see. Oh, that spells out Emma. I've got to connect these dots. There's only one thing the victim could have written given the circumstances. His murderer's name! Gotta click on the uh, other spot first. Er, no. Huh. That one's just there. Got to connect with ones that have sports. been. Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> yep. It certainly is, isn't it? Yeah, it spells out Emma. Unless... unless I can make this a G... Oh my! <laughs> oh my Chokita! Undo. Let's see. Cause it's obvious it looks like Emma, but what would it be? G A? Oh! Oh! What? If I can make it look like a G... Because it lets me connect this to some point. Why? Why would it let me do this? Let's see, what? Damon Gents. DG. Why would he? Why would he say Emma? <clears throat> Should we try Emma and see? Because I mean, it seems like it's trying to lead us to that. But I felt like it would be like, "Aha! You thought it was Emma. Fooled you." Because that doesn't. I mean, that kind of makes an E. Should we just try it? If you want to, I could look it up. I mean, we did save, so whatever. <clears throat> E.M.A. It's a defense attorney's duty to prove their client's innocence. That's why all I've been thinking about is saving Lana. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Wait! <clears throat> Him? Of all people, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. <gasps> She's got a weapon! <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see, fucking. Gosh, seaworthy. Can't say I didn't warn you. <laughs>
I just got back from Castlevania Nocturne. It was a lovely trip. Chief Gents. Highly recommended. Do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in that case, were you not? Ah. Yes, Worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Burger King foot lettuce. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. <laughs> Hang on a minute, you douchebag! But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer! That's undeniable! Yeah, I'm afraid that's not important. Didn't you know? We aren't defenders of justice. What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death? It's no light matter. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence forgery, ultimately the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. <laughs> Despite what anyone know. may say, this fact cannot be denied. Sorry, what? Uh, just goddamn. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. What's going on at the prosecutor's office? They might have sent an innocent man to his death? How can he just- oh fuck. Order! Oh god. Order! 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 He starts throwing the gavel at Phoenix for the no reason. The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge- oh my god. Okay, just a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows, woo! Ah! Yeah, I looked it up. The only thing we could have done is Emma. Okay. Just spell dog. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> Sorry, Edgeworth. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours, Phoenix. Oh, not interrupting anything, pals. Uh. Hmm. Oh, yes, I am. I'll come back later. Um. Goddamn. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Got a lot of nerve, pal. Make a detective run around while on duty. You're, aren't you fired? You had to talk it all <laughs> off. You call me here. I've been half. I've seen happier people at funerals. I take it Lana's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give this to you if it was a break in today's trial. Evidence law. Edrith was talking about this just the other day. Is that a children's book? Hey. I think it has children's pictures on it. <laughs> you must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Seems so. Can you study some evidence law? Really? No, I'd rather pretend to be a lawyer than actually study. And here we are. Chief Prosecutor also wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said, Read. don't fuck up, dumb shit. If you're planning to take him on, you're gonna need this book. Him. I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. In what, the ten minute recess that I have? Evidence law securely slipped in the pocket. Doesn't look like that book will do you any good now, though. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Oh. Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting in that prosecutor's seat? Despite all these allegations being thrown at me? Mr. Ragesworth. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. Dun 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 dun! What? What else is there left to do? 
Your credibility's been all but ruined with this forced evidence you were unaware of. Emma Scar found out she unwittingly caused a man's death. Someone clogged the urinals with shit. <laughs> and now you're telling me you want to do more? That's happened, Jay. I know, it's fucking That's disgusting. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, pal. You're, you're missing the point, Detective. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. Oh. She merely stuck a knife in his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. What? No, you're okay, Jax. It's okay, baby. And we're going to what? expose him. No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. Swing! I just have the Jen. power of knowledge. I have evidence, la! <laughs> just the bolt of lightning comes out. <laughs> Suddenly, the court will now reconvene right. for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. <laughs> Goddamn, <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. <laughs> Thank you for the news, Your Honor. Yes, well, <clears throat> well, normally this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness, but uh, <clears throat> oh, this isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that you, Mr. Edgeworth, may have a uh, struck a bargain. Ah! You think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. Don't pull words in my mouth. It's just, you see, everyone's been talking, and... Well, Albuquerque, I them. Apricot, Bandersnatch, Bamboozle. <laughs> I'm putting words Phoenix. in your mouth. <laughs> I will throw this gavel again. Oh! <laughs> Very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A uh, solution? That being the case... The prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. Yeah! What? Those are precedents for what you're proposing. But did I believe this is an unusual arrangement? But a very effective one. Yeah! Fuck you, Damon! It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Nah! I'm tired. Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Lay down, baby. It's okay. I love you. Oh, Mr. Phoenix is bringing in his cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it's settled. The uh, defense may now call forth the next witness. Mr. Wright? Oh! Uh. You do you realize this is your last chance? Saving! Saving won't help you from this. <laughs> if you call the wrong witness, the trial is as good as over. I call Maya to the stand. The defense calls. The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Damon Jones. Officer Meekins. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we supposed to call Damon Jin? Oh, right, we're supposed to catch him in his own lies, right? Yeah. I'm so fucking tempted to fuck it up. But no, I want to actually see this end, so... I mean, you did save, to be fair. Eh, whatever. Damon Jant. The defense calls Damon Jant to the stand. Damon Jant? What does he have to do with anything? Everything! Uh... As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Jant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I, should, I feel we should hear what he has to say about it. Hmm. As I could have it, he would still be in the courthouse. Or he should still be in the courthouse. He'd also be in, least likely to have been manipulated by me <coughs> in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? True. Very true. Alright, Bailiff, please escort Mr. Jan to the stand. God, I never get this fucking hair right. Witness, please state your name and occupation. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. I was gonna have teriyaki. Your name and occupation, sir? 
worthy. Are you sure you want to do this? Ah. Your name and occupation. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. We're making progress, Sam! I'm so happy! <laughs> Congratulations, Jay. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.